Questions? There's Peyton Alport. Do you think the freshman year would have made it? Um, two yards. <laughs> two yards. Would have made it far at all. Yeah. Tell us about that. Tell us about the the interception and the run down yeah. the sideline. Uh, well, I caught the ball and off rip. I looked back because I thought somebody was right behind me. And then I looked back again. I didn't want to fumble. Yeah. Then I looked looked forward. And I see I had 60 more yards to go. Then I started pushing forward. Then I see a couple blockers running in front of me. I see Ricardo and I think uh, Khalil Barnes run up in front of me to uh, go block for me. So shout out to them boys for sure. What does it mean on your senior day to have a moment like this? And how far does and what does it say about how far you've come from you since since you first got here? I feel like all the work I put in, like. It shows, like especially mentally. I feel like I wrote, uh, read that screen pretty good. Like uh, make that play. What do you think of uh, Barrett getting that uh, offensive touchdown? Oh, I feel like it was good. I feel like I blocked pretty good for him too. You see me <laughs> enough? Yeah, I try to get my big one right there. What, what was your teammates' reaction when you came over on the sideline after that pick six? Oh, they was lit. I couldn't really get lit with them though, because I was so tired. I couldn't even <laughs> celebrate. So I was celebrating. I was celebrating uh, after the game though. So. Are you surprised with your hops on that one to, to go up and grab it like you did? Uh, I ain't surprised about my hops. I wasn't surprised uh, about my reaction time, though. I knew it was coming. Where do you feel like this team is heading into next week's game, about the top 20 teams? You know, you're going into a game that has a lot of meaning to a lot of people. Yeah. Where do you feel like the Clemson Tigers are heading into that contest? Shoot, honestly, I feel like this team coming in there confident and together. This is the closest we've ever been. We were very excited about all of our young players making plays today. Yeah, we're just confident coming in next week. Can you talk about what the Citadel was doing, though, to be able to run the football? Kind of oh, they were doing, doing really good with um, taking the D-line out of the game. So I don't know how to explain that, but, yeah, they took us out of the game pretty well. Um, shout out to them and their offensive line and their coaches and their coach staff. They did very well scheming that. It looked like there was a lot of misdirection and stuff. Oh, yeah. Good. Hey, after your touchdown, uh, Coach Eason jumped on you, I think, and yeah. Davo got right in your helmet. What were they saying to you after that? That's yeah, true. I love you, boy. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I love you. And that's all things you want to hear after a play like that. So. Seeing Barrett Carter hop in the end zone, too. Two defensive dudes yeah. getting big touchdowns. What were your thoughts on that? Oh, we were lit. Y'all ain't seen the Sally? Y'all seen the Sally after that? Yeah, we was getting to it. So <laughs> that was our reaction. What do you call that celebration? The I don't want to say it, but I seen it on Fortnite one time. Oh shit! You good, man? I'm sorry. You good? Damn. I tried to get him. So. Have you scored a touchdown before? Yeah, that's my first time ever doing something like that. I'm inspired. Surprises, y'all. Even when you're younger, you don't score a touchdown like that. Oh, I mean, regularly, I used to yeah. run, run the ball a little bit, but like, nothing like that. So. How much is scoring a touchdown something that defensive guys make guys like you dream of doing? True. It was so much of a dream where I didn't even dream of it no more. I didn't. Like, I never thought it was gonna happen until it happened. So I was glad it happened. You guys gave up um, the amount of rush you guys get. You guys gave up tonight. That just a one game kind of thing to throw away, or is it like something? I guess that's kind of important um, for you guys for a minute. Uh, yeah, they gave, we gave a lot of rushing yards, but I feel like uh, the young guys, we're going to get them right. I feel like they gave them a little too much. But at the end of the day, they needed to be in there no matter what. They need to get them reps and that experience. So they'll be ready sooner or later. And you have you having this big game on senior day. Does it kind of make it more special for you? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it, was, it, was, it was lit today. <laughs> they said it was going to play for me, too. They ain't. They ain't. I don't know they played for me a lot, but like they did good. <laughs> your first career interception turned into your first career pick six and also right. extended the streak for the Tigers of multiple defensive touchdowns this season to 15 years in a row, which is now the longest active streak that made the game. Like, what does that mean to you? Just all of those accolades stacked on top of each other? True. Um, the accolades mean a lot. Um, like I said, I'm, a, I'm a surprised as much as y'all are, so I'm blessed as soon. <laughs> There's a big game, you know, we talked about how your feelings are ready, but how does it feel to face against Lenore Sellers? He's been playing really well for Carolina to get against that matchup, not against the offensive line, but against that quarterback. Yeah, uh, well, I never got, I didn't get to really uh, get a look at him. I was focused on Citadel this week, but I'm pretty sure they're very stout. They can move pretty good. He's going to be a um, good competition. So. Y'all think back to a couple years ago, the opportunity you had a couple years ago, and now here it is again. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like we got a chance to finish, and I know we are, because I, I know the energy in that locker room. So, yeah.
And is there a mentality, you know, it could be the final, it's going to be the final game in the re regular season. You know, ACC championship hopes are still in play, but what does the locker room have? Maybe a word or a slogan just for that last game, maybe to finish off against Carolina. Sure. I don't know, but my uh, coach Easton was like, basically be a dog. No matter what you do, be a dog, whatever thing you do. Don't let no one outwork you in anything you do. Just be a dog. So that's the mindset in that locker room. And yeah. Uh,